architect and is considered by most one of the leading and most influential people in architecture in the mid 20th century. As for his projects he worked on, some of them are the Seagram Building, Lakeshore Drive Apartments, ITT Campus Projects, as well as the German Pavilion. He was known for being the headmaster of the Bauhaus in Germany from 1930 to 1933, when the school was closed by Nazi leadership in Germany. Joseph Paxton was the head gardener at the Chatsworth House and was experienced in building greenhouses. The Industrial Exhibition Committee was looking for a design that would not only look appealing to the human eye, but that would also take very little time in assembling. This giving Paxton an edge when designing the Crystal Palace, which was designed in glass and iron, while other competitors designed large masonry designs. The German Pavilion was constructed in 1928 and was completed in 1929 by Mies after being commissioned by the German government. Mies interpreted the project with the political standings in Germany in mind. The economics of the country had begun to recover as a result of World War. The pavilion was supposed to represent the new Weimar Republic, which is democratic, culturally progressive, and prospering. These characteristics were to be represented through the architecture. The Crystal Palace was constructed in 1851 in Hyde Park of London, England. It was commissioned to hold the Great Exhibition of 1851, which brought people from different parts of the world to display items from their native land. Some of these places included China, India, Russia, Austria, France, Belgium, Switzerland, West Indies, and many more countries from across the globe. intended to have an exhibit space within it, but because the way the building was built by Mies, it lacked this programmatical space. Instead, Mies makes the building itself become the exhibit. But how is this accomplished? Mies enables this to come through in his architecture by creating the free plan concept. What exactly is a free plan? A free plan is a space that is created with very little support, enabling the mobility of space without interference of columns. This concept of a free plan is similar to the Crystal Palace. Because of the materiality of glass and iron, a characteristic of transparency is created. Each space flows into one another. Without any real walls in the project, the movement of space is not bound and is able to move freely. But also the term transparency is another point to look at. What both projects make possible is how they treat the interaction between the outside with the inside. The Crystal Palace being entirely glass allows the illusion of being one with the exterior space, while the German Pavilion is open to the exterior. Therefore, the space within the building is blended with that of the space on the exterior. The materiality of the buildings is the difference that stands between these two projects. Where most of the concepts that these two architects' designs are similar, the materiality is different. The Crystal Palace by Joseph Paxson is designed with glass and iron, while the German Pavilion by Mies van der Rohe is designed with steel frames with glass and polished stones. Although the materials that make these buildings are different, these two architects have accomplished in making buildings with such similar concepts for their purpose in exhibitions and pavilions. Thank you.